ANCA reporters Heidi Jockers is at the Oartambo International Airport and she joins us now, but also Ronald Masinda at the Cape Town International Airport joining us simultaneously. I'll start with you, Heidi. I mean, have we heard any word on the status of the planes thus far that have been grounded? Unfortunately, no word on uh, the status of the various planes that have been grounded. But uh, to me, it's important to note that um, uh, having the Civil Aviation Authority ground um, planes uh, from various airlines is a serious matter. Um, they obviously did an inspection overnight and they found technical issues um, once they conducted an audit um, and they found non-compliance, specifically when it comes to the technical aspects of uh, various aircrafts. And, uh, one must understand that uh, air safety is the most important because you have hundreds of people in an aeroplane and uh, safety always comes first. As much as people are saying it's a major inconvenience for uh, passengers, um, it's important for these aircrafts and these airlines to make sure that everything is in order before they allow the plane to take off. So we do understand that Com Air released a statement a couple of hours ago saying that um, in actual fact they've managed to get some of their fleets up in the air again. Um, um, but they're still working on the remainder, and hopefully by tomorrow they'll be sorted out. Uh, we do know that SAA also has over four fleets um, that are up in the uh, that, that can't go up in the air, rather. Um, Mango, same situation, Kulula as well. So uh, domestically, uh, flights are not looking good for many passengers, given the fact that uh, many of them have been grounded. Yeah. And as you've mentioned there, quite a number of them have been grounded. I mean, this must be causing some kind of a frantic for passengers. Have they been assisted? with alternative flights? Well, uh, many of them have been assisted in terms of uh, uh, getting other flights contingency plans in terms of uh, being put on a much later flight. Uh, we've spoken to a couple of people where uh, they expressed their anger and frustration saying that um, they were only informed when they arrived at the airport that in actual fact um, you know, their flights have been cancelled, their flights have been delayed and now they're going to have to wait up to five hours to be put onto a new flight. Some on the other hand saying uh, they managed to actually get onto an earlier flight because of all these delays and cancellations. So uh, plans are being made for passengers, but of course one can imagine the kind of frustration and delays that are happening. Uh, people have schedules and plans and now they need to wait for alternative arrangements for these aircrafts uh, to be fixed and repaired. All right, Heidi. Well, we're going to move now to Cape Town where hundreds of passengers have been left high and dry. This at the Cape Town International Airport and our reporter ENCA's Ronald Masinda is there. Ronald, I mean, let's talk about, uh, you know, what's been happening in terms of, you know, the chaos that passengers are probably experiencing at the airport right now. Well, a very good afternoon to you, to me, from the Cape Town International Airport, where things have returned to normal, slowly but surely. Uh, earlier on, the Western Cape government held talks with uh, airline bosses, and uh, to get more on that update, I am currently joined by the Minister of Finance and Economic Economic Opportunities, Mr. David Maynard. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. First of all, what was discussed during that gathering? Uh, well, earlier today I met uh, Dion Clitter, who is the acting, who is the manager of uh, Cape Town International Airport, together with his team managing the situation here. Uh, and essentially, they've been focusing, of course, on minimising the impact on uh, passengers. And I think they've made huge uh, progress. They've minimised uh, delays to well below uh, 60 minutes, and they anticipate stabilising the situation and resuming normal scheduling. Uh, by tomorrow morning. Now I can't imagine the trouble that a lot of people have gone through given the, the magnitude of these delays. A person for example will be taking a flight to Johannesburg as a connecting flight to go overseas. I mean that, that must be a nightmare for anyone in that position. How then is the airport or has that been discussed in terms of compensation for those left stranded? Well. Obviously, passengers have been uh, inconvenienced, and responsibility for those passengers remains, of course, with the airlines. Uh, we were briefed by the airlines, and the airlines said that when it came to passengers, for example, that had been delayed on international flights, uh, airlines were working on uh, rerouting those passengers via alternative destinations or uh, overnighting those passengers and then moving them on to their destinations during the course of uh, tomorrow. But there are contingency plans 
plans in place uh, for all passengers who are, are delayed or passengers that miss uh, connecting flights. And in terms of Cape Town International, because I mean this is a well-renowned airport ranked as a top airport on the African continent, how much has this tainted that particular image? Well, I think what we've actually seen today is uh, the uh, airport management swinging into action. Uh, I think uh, getting in early, managing the situation, minimizing uh, delays, working together with the airlines, and I think it's testament uh, to, I think, excellent management, uh, and uh, I think it explains why Cape Town International uh, Airport is one of the best airports, or well, is the best airport in South Africa, and one of the best airports in Africa. And lastly, uh, any assurances that this won't take place again, perhaps? Well, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we our focus now is on minimizing the impact on passengers. But why this incident occurred will have to be investigated uh, by the Civil Aviation Authority to make sure that this does not ever happen again. All right, David, thank you so much for your time. Well, there you have it, to me. Uh, basically, the Western Cape government saying that they were in talks with airport management. They are saying that, uh, you know, things were handled the right way. Despite all the chaos that we saw earlier this morning, it's back to you for now. All right, thank you so much to you, Ronald Masinda and Heidi Jockers. Well,